such a cool effect with the graffiti. Oh yeah, looking back, wow. These are definitely some of my favorite portraits I've ever shot. Hey, sit back, relax, or maybe grab some chippies. Because in today's video, I'm going to bring you along to a day of portrait photography using the M20C pocket light from Sijun Tech. This is honestly one of the coolest lights I've ever seen. It looks so high tech. I feel like it has a brain of its own. And throughout this whole photo shoot, I'm going to be using this light. So you can see how I use external lighting during daytime, but also during nighttime. And if you've been following along with my YouTube channel or maybe my Instagram, you know that I love to use external lighting on my photo shoots. I feel like it really helps me to create an edgy and moody feel to my portrait. So that is exactly what we're gonna be doing in today's video as well. I'm gonna be shooting with my 35, my 50 mil and my 85 mil and I'm gonna be bringing my Canon R6. I think that's all you need to know. Let's dive into the video. So I'm waiting for our model, but I just figured out the coolest thing about this light cause it is magnetic on the back. Look. And now it sticks on my car. How handy is that for shooting portraits when using a car? So handy. Hello. How are you going? How are you? It's good to see you. Oh, oh. Interesting, right? Is that the battery? Then? Yeah, that's the battery. Oh. And then this is the fan. It actually looks like a computer fan. Oh, is that to keep it cool? Yeah, it's gonna be good. It's yeah. so bright. Okay, what I'm thinking actually is to make a really nice close-up shot of your face, like sort of like in the greenery. Shooting with the 85 mil just to get a nice compressed look. Is it possible to hold the light a little bit closer to you? Yeah, nice. We just chilled here, so happy with the photos already. And the orange glow blended so nicely with the greenery of the plants, because those colors are opposites of each other in the color wheel. That's why they work together perfectly. We made it to this phone booth over here and something really cool, the light is magnetic so it will stick on the phone booth. How convenient is that? So we're just gonna take a couple shots here. I'm gonna be using my 85 mil and my 50 mil. So let's get into it. Oh, that's sick though. I reckon for now, I'm just gonna shoot some close-up photos of your face and like through here. Whoa. Back to your hair is so red now because of that light. Yeah. All right, I swapped to the 50 mil just to go a little bit wider. Yeah, nice. Beautiful. Oh, that's it. What the heck? Look at this. We were saying just before, it actually lo looks a bit like your. Europa, I wanted to say. Europe. Okay, I hope you can hear me. Lots of noise. But we're in this beautiful alleyway. Like, ah, look at this. And I point the light just over here. And look at that. It enhances the red of the graffiti. And it's only at 15%. So it's really, really strong. Go nice, bright red. Yeah, just like... Sort of gonna bounce it off the wall. I love this so much. Wow, beautiful. Look at the difference. When I stand here, face is super red. At the moment, it's not really the look I wanna go for. So when we move over here, look at that. It gives us just the slightest red glow. Okay, so whilst we're having a snack, I wanted to tell you a little bit more about the M20C. So like I was saying, this is an RGB light and you can choose out of seven different colors. And they're all very easily adjustable and dimmable with the buttons on the sides. It contains 20 watts. So for a little pocket light, that is a lot of light. And as you can see, it is incredibly compact and small. So during my photo shoot, I can just pop it into my bag. And if you still feel like you need that extra bit of light, you can literally take another M20C and 
shove it on top or on the side and you can make it as big as you want. So before you head onto your photo shoot, just charge it up at home. It will last you a very long time. So that's really handy. So during my photo shoots, I most of the time just leave it on continuous lighting, but you can literally choose out of so many different modes. And if you want to play around with the lighting, this light also comes with a bunch of accessories to use and to plug onto the light. Back to the photo shoots. Okay, so as you can see, the sun is gone. We have now entered blue hour, which is my favorite time of the day. This is 50%. So bright. Oh, stop it. I just want to stick this light onto anything and everything. Back to the 50 mil. Honestly, I've been loving this lens. This is a go to for me lately. Oh. Oh, yeah. Looking back. Wow. I love finding like little pockets to shoot through, like this one. Yeah, like look at that backlight. So we're back to our trusty phone booth just because I wanted to be a little less bright outside because we were shooting before and I'll pop up a photo in the screen. The side was a bit overexposed but now it's dark outside so the lights of the cars and the trams will pop out really nicely. Let's do 100%. Very frontal shots. Yeah, gorgeous. So by pointing the light just behind Tesh, when I move around, sometimes it gives me that sort of light flare. I'll just pop a photo up here, but that's what I mean. And it's so nice because when I move around, every inch I move, the whole light changes. Show some deep expressions. Some what? Deep expressions. Deep expressions? Yeah. Like she's not showing the expressions. She is. She's freaking good. Okay, so we made it to our last and final shoot location. And as you can hear, maybe you can't even hear me, but we're above a freeway. And it's so cool with all the cars coming past. And we have the city skyline. And that's the end of the photo shoot. Honestly, nothing makes me more happier than just playing around with the light on the streets with a model, using the surroundings, just freestyling and see what you come up with. I had a lot of fun during this photo shoot. And this little guy over here was such a great addition. It's so funny because you can stick it up to so many different things. And the whole time I was like mind blown because it actually helps out so much because you don't need to bring a tripod or bring someone else to hold your light. You can just stick it up and you're good to go. So yeah, that made the whole photo shoot pretty easy as well. These are definitely some of my favorite portraits I've ever shot just because of how easy going the photo shoot was and all the photos look very moody and edgy just what I love. I've linked all the information to this slide in the description. And when it came down to the editing of the photos, I've used my preset pack. And the preset I've used for these photos is called stills. So alongside this one and 26 other presets, you can find it all in my preset pack. And I've also added some editing tutorials as well. Yeah, you can find that in the description. Definitely let me know if you have any further questions about this photo shoot. So yeah, I think that's all you need to know. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and I also hope to see you at my next one. Okay, bye-bye. Do it.